It's so a one event to go on the first day of the second semi-final, and the riders now establishing that lead of 12 points to nine. And this final event on the first day, well, it's one of the old favourites in a super team championship full of new events. The old favourite, the gym test. Four separate disciplines, four competitors. There must be a girl in each team, and it's squats, press-ups, sit-ups, and bar jumps. And after last week, those very fine performances, particularly Robin Brew's 111 bar jumps, well, they've got something to look up to, I can tell you. Are you ready? Go for it, Andy. I've got a feeling that Andy Ruffle will enjoy this. To come from behind, he did last time in Team Superstar. Watch him close the gap because Gordon Greenwich, brilliant test, 66 test for the West Indies, a superstar at cricket, but Andy Ruffle enjoys this and he really is very good at it. Look at the gap closing, he started with a deficit of 14. So the BMX bike king chasing that total corner of Greenwich. Barbados born, keeping it going nicely, but look at this, 272 to 277, he's within five and the bar's got over, and suddenly he's come past. Andy Ruffle has brought the riders ahead, and the ball sports are struggling now as Andy Ruffle's being urged on by his team to keep this going. Andy Ruffle does it again on the bar jump, 10 seconds to go, and he's piling on the scores, and he's done it again in Team Superstars. And the BMX Bike Brigade will love this, and Andy Ruffle has pulled it out of the bag. The riders win the gym test. Well, the shadows are getting a bit long, and uh, I can tell you, it's getting a bit cold as well. But what a good day it's been for the riders. The combination of the bikies and the people who ride horses, leading 17 points to 11. So they've got a good lead at the halfway stage. But as you might have heard, they're a little bit worried about tomorrow. <laughs>